So today we've got a problem with this temporary fencing that's up. I didn't put this temporary fencing up, but it is not done correctly. You can see behind me, there's a big space right over there where there's not a T-post. So we're gonna put a T-post in there. The biggest problem is right here, there's no corner bracing. I don't care if you have a temporary fence or a permanent fence, you have got to have corner bracing. This is the result if you have no corner bracing. See how that corner is all drooped in? It's got to be braced correctly. And then if you look at the wire, wire's all sagging because there's not enough braces in here. So we're gonna fix all that today and I'll show you what we're gonna do. Corner bracing is typically done with wooden posts and today we're gonna use green T-post. And what we're gonna use is what is called wedge locks and it is a pack that is pre-manufactured. You can get them for corner, for H-bars, uh, for any type of bracing in the fence you want. And while you can certainly make a temporary fence out of green T-post, you can also make it permanent out of green T-post. But these corner posts are imperative. They have to be there, like I said. So these things work great. A lot of people don't know about them. And that's what this video is about, is showing you how to use these. So again, it's a wedge lock bracing hardware. And this is a part number 205 for diagonal corner or double inline bracing. Super easy to install, super quick, and work great. We're also going to use these strain ratchets. These are going to tighten up our cable, and I'm going to show you how to do that as well. And then the green T-post. I want to show you green T-post. You see how that right there is curved. When you drive that T-post in the ground, it's going to corkscrew on you, start screwing into the ground. And you don't want it to corkscrew in, but it's going to. It's really hard to hold it straight and hammer it at the same time. But I'll show you what a T-post driver manufacturer has done to make that easier. So this is a T-post driver. T-post goes in that hole. You hold on to these handles and you just raise it up and down and just hammer it into the ground. A lot of them don't have this on the end of it. That is a T-post straightener. So if your T-post is in the ground crooked afterwards, you can hook your T-post into here and you can turn it to the left or to the right and you know bend your t-post back out now again this is just a temporary fence if this was going to be a permanent fence i would measure these green posts so i would know exactly how far i was driving them in the ground but since it's just temporary it's only going to be here for a few months i'm just gonna eyeball it but like i said i would uh i would either get up a, a uh, measuring tape and measure it so i knew that each post was going in and they were four and a half feet or five feet or whatever length i wanted them so anyway, I'm just gonna eyeball it. You're just gonna take your T-post, put this on the end, set it where you want it. Make sure your teeth are to the inside, like I said, and then start driving. And if I wasn't happy with my T-post, like I said, I could just slide this over it. And then I could just flex this in either direction. 
and bend it, twist it. A lot of your T-post drivers don't have that on there. And so that, that makes it really nice to be able to, to do that. The reason I was saying is make sure your T is to the outside of your pasture is because your wire is gonna go to the inside and your wire is gonna be supported by one of those little studs. You use this little clip right here. This clip will go across the back of it like that. And we'll hook into the wire right there on the right side. And then on this side, you'll just twist that around one time and you see how it bites in that little stud right there. Just close this up just a little bit and then that's just twisted around one time. They make a special tool for it, but uh, you can just use pliers and accomplish the same thing. Before we can do our corner brace, we gotta straighten out this pole. So we'll use our post driver, just set our post driver over that and then pull it up straight, make it in line. We'll just eyeball it in line with those there and we'll eyeball it in line with those there. We'll open up our pack and see what's in there. So in this pack of wedge locks, comes with three collars, three wedges, and four sockets. These just slide down over the posts. They lock in with these. This is what gives you your angle. Let me show you. All right, so here's all three components put on the top of the corner post, okay? So the collar goes over the post, then your um, sleeve goes, or this is your sleeve, this is your collar, and then this is your wedge right here. And so the sleeve fits on one of the tits on the back right there. And then this slides down in there and locks it in place. And then you slide this on and you see they're universal, so you can do them from any side you want. And then your T-post is gonna slide in here and it's gonna go down to the bottom right there. So I gotta put another one right down there. And then when I pull the fence tight, it will, it'll sandwich that together and pull it nice and tight. So I've straightened the pole as straight as I can get it. It's gonna straighten out a little bit more when I put the other pole in there when spacing this out you want to set your post on the ground and you want your t-post to be at the end of that you can see that i've got about a foot so i'm going to have to pull that post up out of the ground and bring it closer and drive it back in so i can get a better uh, you know a get a wedge fit on it right there so here's what it looks like when it's in you can put that spade in either place it doesn't really matter I couldn't get this post out of the ground and so I just ended up leaving it there. No big deal. It's a temporary fence. If it was permanent, I would have made sure I got it out. But now what we're going to do is we're going to put these strain ratchets in. And what you do is you come over and you take one end and you wrap it around. You take the other end and you stick it in there and then you start ratcheting it with this special plier right here. All right, sorry, I couldn't video that with one hand, but it's no different than a ratchet strap. You just put it in there, ratchet it closed. All right, and then your wire's nice and tight. You just take this wrench right here. It's got that bar in it. And just set it over your cogs there and just ratchet it, okay? And now that cable's nice and tight. I've only got the bottom wire on, but that thing isn't going anywhere. And you'll have to run one down here as well because this is the corner but 
you see now how tight that wire is on the bottom versus what it was and it doesn't have a lot of play in it it's really tight so all I have to do now is go back and put these clips on where they're missing you want to stretch your wire tight first and then once you get your wire stretched tight then you can go back and add all your clips if you add all your clips first you run the risk of it binding up so let me tighten up this tight wire put this ratchet on it put my clips on and then that should be shored up enough to where it'll work as a temporary fence and there it is my corners are all shored up wires are all tight T post in that void up there. All the way down with all my clips on. Nice and rigid. See how that just wraps around and straps? All the way down. So I hope that helped you. A lot of people don't know that they can use uh, T-posts for corner bracing or how to do it. So with the help of wedge locks, you can get it done and make your fence permanent or temporary, either one. Thanks for watching.